Hey, it's Clay at ClayTrader.com, and this will be our weekly review of a previous scan from the Power Profit Scan email that I send out, which comes a part of the Clay Trader Inner Circle subscription service that is uh, $99 a year. I've done this video several times now in the past. A couple of few disclaimers up front. First and foremost, Am I trying to imply that every single scan that I make is a winner? Of course not. In fact, the past couple of weeks, I've shown one that was a loser, one that just simply nothing happened. It was a, a quote unquote no play. So don't come across and I don't want you to get the impression that, wow, if I sign up, every single alert and every single scan uh, that Clay sends is a winner. That's not how it works. What I, am want, what I do want you to keep in mind though is why risk management, risk control is so important. When you manage risk, when you're focused on risk, yeah, losses are gonna happen, but then you're gonna see here that wins are also going to happen, and those wins are what's gonna carry you through. So if there's any moral of the story here, you know, hopefully it is that risk management matters, and this is why. Nothing is perfect, but when you manage risk, you can keep winners moving your account in the right direction. Second, I will tell you right off the get-go, you are not gonna see any massive winners. But with that being said, if you are going into the market, if your you know, baseline is, well, I want to see, and then some crazy number or else I'm not happy, you have lost touch with reality. Stop and think about things real quick. Why are you even in the market? You're in the market because you have choices of where you can put your money to grow. You could go to your local bank. And yes, your money will grow at the local bank. But just keep that in mind as we go through it, and I'll come back to that. But just keep in mind, we have choices out there of where we can put our money to grow. And you know the, the bank is one of those choices. So with that being said, let's go through uh, some of these scans, like I said, and we're this week gonna go through, let me scroll down here. So this is what it looks like behind if you were to sign up and you click on the members area, then you click on newsletters, this is what you would see, just an organized uh, you know, area of all the scans. But we're gonna look at the week of 7, 9, 18. I realize this is quite a bit of time ago, but I like to give the charts plenty of time to unfold, to play out, and to be fair to members, I want things to have already played out. I mean, these, this is for paying members, so I don't wanna be giving away things that could still potentially be in play, so it's just a matter of fairness too, so let's get to it. The first alert we're gonna talk about is on ticker symbol IMUU, which you can see right there. And nothing fancy here, just, just some good old fashioned technical analysis of a technical pattern of the bull flag. So just drew the bull flag in there, named it as the bull flag. And you can see, you know, there's their clear pull back here, drop off in volume. So let's see how this one actually played out. So here we are looking at the chart and this is what it looks like. The scans go out over the weekend. So, um, you know, this is what it looks like on Friday as of the close. And then the next candle will be, you know, Monday morning, uh, the next day. And just to keep things in perspective, remember, think about the bank, but also think about liquidity, meaning you could very realistically buy $100,000 worth of this, buy $200,000 worth of this. Now, I'm not saying you should or you, you, uh, you know, people did, but the point is that you could buy that amount of stock, you know, let's just go with 250,000. You could buy $250,000 worth of stock, and when it comes time to sell, it's not gonna be a big deal. Whereas, if you go and you buy some penny stocks where you see, you know, 100% moves, 200% moves, sure, that's the percent move, but try selling $250,000 worth of a penny stock odds are you're probably gonna crush the stock single-handedly because penny stocks don't have as much liquidity, don't have as much dollar volume. So you have to keep things in mind from that perspective too, is that these alerts, or at least this one in particular, is a liquid alert, meaning you can put in significant amounts of money and then when it times comes time to sell, you'll actually be able to sell. That gets lost in the shuffle a lot with penny stocks is people look at the percentages, sure, but then when you think about the practicality of what, but could I have actually sold without crushing the stock? In many cases, people would literally have, you know, crush the stock, you know, taking this one. So yeah, let's say you buy $250,000 worth of it. When you look at the volume and do some basic calculations, you'd see that, it, you know, it'd be more than realistic to be able to sell. So with that disclaimer out of the way too, because um, I realize I'm fighting against lots of marketing. I'm fighting against a lot of kind of brainwashing for some people where they need to see insane amounts of gains in order for them to think that, oh, wow, that, well, that's actually good. Whereas you gotta keep things realistic and practical. So a lot of those people that are always portraying those huge percent moves are, they're not telling you about the, you know, the realistic perspective, could you actually be able to sell? But with that being said, like I said, here we go, Monday morning. So there is Monday morning. 
And then you can see the breakout begins right there on Tuesday. Kind of chills out for a little bit, chills out for a little bit. Things start to wake back up. And there it goes very nicely from the move and then rolls back over. And that whole uh, you know breakout was 10.4%. Again, 10%. I mean, think about what you're saying. Walk into, in, in order to keep this in perspective, you can walk into your local bank, and I say this every week because it's a fact, walk into your local bank, walk up to the teller or request the meeting and say, Yes, I would like uh, 10.4. Well, you know that is that's a whole uh, profit opportunity window. So let's say you get 8% out of it. Walk in and say, excuse me, I would like let's see, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I would like 8% in the next seven days, and then record with your phone the reaction that they're gonna. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, ma'am. Did you say 8% in seven days? Just that's more than a p p percent per day. I mean, go in there and and ask that. And again. Highly liquid stock, so you could have easily put in a good chunk of change and been able to sell on this one. So 10 point, or you know, 8% on 250 thousand dollars. You know, what is that? It, it's a lot more than you know, putting you know something in a penny stock that you can't even sell without crushing it. So on that one, nice little simple breakout, 10.4% in a, a nice short amount of time. So a, a very uh, practical stock. I guess that's what we'll kind of call these. The next scan to talk about here is uh, ticker symbol just K E M, and uh, just simply a, a breakout. Is it coming? You know, I made the note that the price has been knocking on this door, and that this uh, you know area here has been quite stubborn. But within the context, you know, of this stubborn area, there is quite clearly a very nice overall strong bull trend. So I made to get that highlighted too. So let's see how this one played out. Again, here is a chart going into Monday morning. So right here, that stubborn area, let's see uh, how the following uh, couple of days unfolded. Well, that didn't last too long. There we go, Monday morning, the party started, and you can see the breakout continued and got up his that high before finally moving back down for a 13% three uh, gain in, again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, so nine days, excuse me, Mr. Banker, I would like, and look, you're not gonna play it perfectly, so let's just stay, you know, go with 10%. Excuse me, Banker, I would like 10% in the next eight days. Record the reaction. Again, a highly liquid stock, so you could go and you could have put in a good solid chunk amount of change, and when it came time to sell, very realistically. I'm well aware that I keep beating that dead horse, but like I said, I know what I'm fighting against out there from the marketing and brainwashing of others where people focus strictly on the percentages and then they never stop to think about more so the um, you know practicality of being able to sell type point of view. So again, quick breakout, nice breakout. And uh, you know the 13.3, I'm not assuming that would be like pretty much playing it perfectly. So let's say you played it kinda good and you got 10%, 9%, heck even 8%. I mean, given the time involved, not a bad rate of return at all. The final scan we're gonna look at here is on ticker symbol NVIV, and what I wanna quickly point out here is take note of the price range. Now we're talking about a sub $3 stock. So we've been talking about more expensive, quote unquote expensive, you know, up over $20, $25, but now we're talking about something below $3. I bring that up just because if, if you're wondering, well, Clay, what sort of price ranges do you, do you cover? We cover anything and everything. If I think that it's looking like there's some sort of, um, you know, probabilities in our favor, and if there's some sort of edge in our favor that gives us, the, you know, uh, a, a chance at success, then, then I will alert it. So, I mean, it's not like it's gotta be above X, you know, X price, it can be anything. And if you watch past videos, then again, you know that I've covered price ranges from up over $100 to price ranges below a dollar. So, we'll cover it all, but on this one, pretty straightforward, uh, just uh, as the you see a volume alert, and you know this volume bar here, you, you correspond that with the history of things. It wasn't even close, by far the biggest volume. So just uh, kind of, I make note that I don't really like the candle that formed, but still worth keeping an eye on, so let's see how this one unfolded. And I should note that because of formatting issues, because of this big nasty gap down, it just threw off my charting software and in order to present it like I normally do, it just really wouldn't work out. It would be really kind of hard to see and goofy looking. So you're gonna see exactly what happened right away. But again, I apologize for that, but it is what it is when you have these goofy gap down. Sometimes that just throws off the charting software. 
So here's how things turned out. Uh, you know, this was again Monday morning, as I point out, and you know, gave uh, plenty of time if people wanted to get in. Then you know, made a, a nice little move up there. Nothing gigantic space-wise. I mean, from there to there, it's not like anything, uh, you know, quote unquote off the charts. I guess pun intended. But still, that actually equated to a 12.6% move. So again, we're talking about in less than a week, 12.6%. And am I saying anybody played it perfectly? No. So let's just go with 8%. So once again, 8%. In that amount of time, you know that that's a solid uh, gain and you know a, a solid way to look at things when you boil it down to what are your choices with your money, either the bank or some other means. And if you choose the, the stock market as a means, well then yeah, that's what makes it a fascinating place. Is you can get, uh, assuming you're not a greedy pig, you can get good solid results, good solid returns on your money in a relatively short amount of time. So NVIV, uh, another nice move, and you know just kind of base hits, base hits, base hits. Um, and you know everything right up around the, the, the 10% or mark, give or take how you would have ultimately traded it um, and, and played it. But um, you know overall a, a good week and one that uh, you know gave nothing mind-boggling, nothing you know jaw-dropping like maybe some of the past uh, you know uh, alerts I've made in videos that you've seen. But still a good solid overall week. And finally, before I go, if you are interested in getting these scans emailed to you. Uh, then you can just go to claytrader.com forward slash inner circle and you see up above here you know that link all the other different attributes that come with it probably the main attribute that gets talked about the most is the live trading chat room and sometimes a newsletter gets left beside and not talked about much which is you know where the the idea for these videos came from in the first place so yeah you get the newsletter you get these scans that we came over here but you also get that live trading chat room that's going to, uh, like I said, for, for some, that's kind of the, 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 the big benefit. And no, it's not just for day traders. As you see here, these were these could definitely be day traded or they could have been you know, approached from a swing trading perspective. So there is something for everybody. And I mentioned this at the beginning, but the cost is $99 per year. And I would highly, highly, highly recommend you get out a calculator. Because if you start to break down those numbers, it literally breaks down, and you can double check me if you want, if you want but to $1.90 per week, $1.90 per week, and you can afford the subscription. It's nothing insane, it's just a, you know, a price to keep things fair, a price to keep out the pumpers, a price to keep out the trolls, and uh, you know, it, when you do the math, like I said, it's more than reasonable. And finally, it does come with the app too, so you can stay in touch with, whether it be the chat room or the scans or what have you, from your phone, wherever you are, so it comes with an app. And you know that doesn't cost anything more to you. So hopefully you decide to subscribe and give us a, a, a chance. If you do have any questions, just leave those down in the comment section. I will monitor those and answer anything that you have for us. So I will see you back next week.